I have tried my hardest to be strong for everyone because they need me. The death of a child is never easy. Usually at night when I come home or I'm in my car, like on my way here, I was crying, listening to a song that reminded me of Kim. And for Alexandra Eaton, the grief weighs heavy as she comes to terms with losing her young nephew, 11-year-old Cameron McMichael, who died in a firework accident in Mount Vernon Sunday night. He was awesome. He was a good friend, a good son, a good nephew, a all-around good kid. A sudden and unimaginable loss prompting Eaton to launch a fundraiser for the family. And though donations poured in quickly, along with a flood of love and support, Eaton says despite the tragedy, so did words of negativity and judgment. Seeing some cruel people and cruel comments that are just insane to me, that you can be such a mean person. And when one stranger read those words, he couldn't just sit idly by. So Situations like these, you know, you would think would bring a community together, not tear it apart. Timothy Land felt he needed to do something, so he messaged Eaton, determined to help the family reach their GoFundMe goal. And I'm thinking, oh, you know, that's just awesome. Just anything would help at this point. And then he pulled up, and he, we all came outside, and he handed over this all this money and I was just like whoa. Land drove from Evansville and handed money he had been saving over $1,300 enough to cover Cameron's funeral expenses and then some. It was a meeting Land says he won't soon forget. Whenever I'd walked up and I gave him money just seeing the mom crying and whatnot just it tore me up and I'm not even gonna lie down there the whole ride home I sit there and cried from Mount Vernon all the way to Evansville. Land says the boy's death resonated with him because the loss of a loved one, especially around a holiday, is a pain he knows all too well. Uh, actually, next Tuesday is 10-year anniversary of my dad passing. So this year, I completely understand what they're going through. You know, the 4th is one of my biggest... It's my favorite holiday, but at the same time, it's one of the hardest times of year for me. And now Land's selfless act of goodwill has resonated with Cameron's family, who has lost someone precious and yet added another. Your family now, dude. Like, you, Tim, you have such a beautiful soul. Eaton says looking forward, the 4th of July will never be the same. Every time we hear a firework, we all have to be reminded that Cam's gone. And, you know, his parents have to live with that the rest of their life. And it's awful. But for now, the focus is on the bright, talented young boy whose death will not be mourned, but rather whose life will be celebrated Sunday. As Cam would want us to celebrate the good and not the bad. And Land will be there for the service. Obviously, anytime you need anything, I'm always a holler away. And the rest of the days to come, because after all, he's family now. I printed his picture out. I'm going to put it on Cam's poster. That way, Cam knows, like, that's my guy. You know, it's like we always knew each other.